Howdy doody clampers, mate just going over a few things, I'm, uh, it's like another security video, just something for your own trailer, um, camper van, whatever, you can use it for a lot of things, you can actually use it for your work um, trailer, so no one actually pinches it, it's a Sarazen um, Ultra Hitch trailer and for caravans, it's from Purple Line. Just remember this plate, this thing is not sponsored by them at all. I've come across them, I've got a bit of research myself. Um, and had a look at a one that you can actually use on the vehicle and off the vehicle. Which is pretty good. Let's have a look. Right, got the keys. Um, look, looks like it's a circular tumble lock. Um, I know for a fact it makes it really hard to get into or bypass so you can't really cut it. Let's have a look. I'll show you the stuff that it comes with. Right, that's the stuff it comes with. It doesn't come with that much. It comes with a little device here that this is for when you leave your trailer behind. This goes in place of the, where the tow ball normally sits and that gets locked in. Quick little thing, no. Rubber seal, takes it from water. Don't grab it from here and pull it off because suction, no good. Grab it from this little tab here and pull it off. Normally, it's got a hole in it, so I reckon you put a bit of chain, and there's a hole in here, I reckon you put it through there, and it just falls down and you use it again, so. Right, let's take it apart and see if it works here. It comes with hardened steel, which is pretty hard to break or saw or cut. I have seen a couple of videos that they've used a grinder on, um, didn't really do much to it, so I thought, mm, give it a go. Anyway, key goes in, ball bearings go in, comes out, release it, and ball bearings come out. Da da, it's like magic. No, it's not magic. It's called engineering from Tech, Tech Corner. Corner. Right, comes with a big pin, where the lock goes in. All hard and steel again. You can hear it, it just sounds solid. Would like to hit someone with that, it hurt. Um, or, major thing, drop it on your toe. Imagine that. Oh, oh no! Let go. Anyway, let's see how it goes together. Right, I'm assuming, well, not assuming, I know, because <laughs> I, yeah. Right, uh, fake toe ball hitch. That slows in, that goes in one way goes into a hole, as you can tell, so it doesn't move, roof, lid, whatever you want to call it, that goes on top, now, in here, which I'll show you very shortly, how it goes on to the trailer, right, that goes all together, pin, goes in like thus. Now here it has got a little bit of a lug or a guide and there's a guide just down there so make sure when you do put it in that guide lines up and when it does it pops in under the key presto it doesn't come out and this thing still comes out. The good thing about this I like you can use it unhitched and hitched so you can leave it all together and this is the only section you need to take out hello oh no i'm framed this is the only section you need to take out when you're actually on the vehicle when the vehicle's off or your trailer is unhitched this is where this device comes into it all 
and it's like that. And the chain's hanging out here, and your tow hitch part sits on top of that as a, like a ball. So, I'll put it on and see how it goes. Oh, I forgot this again. <laughs> Righto, Saracen's Lock by Purple Line. Apparently it was made in Australia. It's got a .com.au. I've looked over everywhere on this item and I can't actually find it where it says made in China. So I'm assuming, I know you should never assume because it makes an ass of yourself, but I'm assuming that it is made in Australia. It's good, looks like good hardened steel. The world's great. Let's give it a go. Right, before you start, you want to be able to put your chains in here. All right, next thing that goes in is the so-called tow ball. Underneath, on the top. This goes through the hole eventually. And like I said, before you put that in, there is a guide in there, so line it up with the guide, so it goes all in, click, it'll let you hear it click, and it's done. Now, the good thing about this thing is you can leave it on <coughs> while you're towing your vehicle. That's the section you only have to really take out, but I've just noticed they say you can lock your chains up. Not really. Unless they're a thicker chain than this, and a big square one, you can't lock them up. They can just be pulled through, like this one does. But there is another way of doing it. You can put a, a lock on there if you really wanted to. But there's one thing I noticed, this section here. If they really wanted to, they can put a chain around there and drag your vehicle away. They can still get it. But it's a good deterrent. It's good hardy steel, it's all hardened. It's hard to crack. You've seen some of the videos online. I've used a few things to get into here. Grinder, drill, the whole lot. And they're still serviceable. Um, but. It's a good deterrent, that's about it. Look, if they really wanted to, this section here adds this part where they can stick the chain. See you later, trailer. I'll let you make up your mind what you think. Put the comments below if you, what you think of them, if you've got one. Um, you can leave it on while you're driving because it's got uh, a very good e articulating area that when you turn corners, it doesn't lock up on you. And even if it does, it, it's got a little bit of movement on there. All right. If you like the review, give us a thumbs up, turn your notifications on, please subscribe, talk to you soon. Rightio there campers, the Sarajan Ultra Hitch Lock. Remember there's two types, there's a cheaper version, which is not this one, and there's a dearer version, which is this one. Now, this video is not brought to you by Sarajan, it's brought to you by Oz RV. Just checking out a few things to give you some information about items like this if you want to buy one. Now sometimes you buy items and you sit there and you buy it and you go, oh, it's not as good as it's cracked out to be because when you see the videos and everything else, <coughs> oh, the sun shines out of its ass, trust me. They always do because they want to make money. But while I travel around Australia, I'll show you little items like this to tell you whether they're all right or not. Now it's from Purple Line. You can get them online straight from the website. Uh, they're, they're around 170 bucks to 180 dollars for these ones and the cheaper ones are around 100 dollars um, But I do suggest these ones because you can lock it up on your vehicle and you leave it there And you just have to forget don't have to worry about it. Just leave it on there But <clears throat> It is a well-made item. I had a look at it. I can't fault it once it's on the vehicle and it's locked up They won't get it off the vehicle. No way in the world mate. They'd have to cut the vehicle apart to get the thing but while it's by itself sitting there and you've driven away yes as i showed you in the video they can put their chains around a certain item as in this here you need to get one first to give it a go so i bought one going to give it a go for you guys and let you know what i think of them and you'll hear more about stuff like this so have a great weekend